And also, that freaking bottle ship is a bottle! <laughs> hey, save it for yours. I know, but I'm just- I'm still complaining about that. The bottle ship is a bottle! <laughs> I know. I know. It a liquid. Where can I drink it? I don't know. We have to go to the very good. Oh, wait, what would that would be? Would that be the north side of it? <laughs> No, I think you had to get into Samus' ship and then go to the top. Pretty much. <laughs> We're already caught in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying, though, the Metroid Over M is a pretty good game. Yeah, it is. Except for Samus, so she should shut up. About the Always goddamn talking baby. About the baby. <laughs> Ugh. Seriously, that game is like, baby, baby, Shamas, shut up! <laughs> well, she has a distinctive memory with it. <laughs> oh, what, five minutes? Oh, look yeah. at the baby! Okay, bye, baby! That's about it. Yeah. Okay, fill up my then money again. Then we go again. to the planet and the baby tries to frickin' kill her! Until it realizes, oops! Oopsie, sorry, I didn't mean to take all your energy! <laughs> uh, here, you can have a big game. What the hell are you doing?! <laughs> yeah, only left you with one unit. Yeah. It's a good job there's no bloody enemies though! Oh, thank gosh. Otherwise, I... Wait, if you had reserve tanks, you would have been safe. Oh, you could do that special trick. Oh yeah, that too. I never really did that. I didn't really do it either. I mean, if, like, oh, my father. I mean, why should you do it? I mean, if you're low on ammo and all that stuff, or low on health, I can understand why, but... Ugh, it's not really much of a point. Well, either that, or you can just go to an area where enemies spawn continuously, so you can just spawn kill them. Just like, oh, there's, um, a, uh, there's another interesting thing. Look at the screen. <laughs> yeah, where the screen gets little and little. It gets smaller, I'm getting crushed by a black box. Hey look, it looks like I'm playing on a Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the Game Boy was uh, equivalent to um, 138 bits. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> but it's something along the lines, so that's 3D right there. <laughs> okay, day two. Yeah, now we're officially halfway through the beginning. Oh, uh, that won't be until it's uh, night time on the second day. Yeah, but we're basically halfway through because it's the second day. Yeah. Okay, that means day two of this game. Yeah. Hey, I wanna play again! You know, I bet these guys never get much business. <laughs> no, they don't. Who would come down here? No Dekus are usually allowed here. Yeah. Only specific uh, Dekus can go down there anyway. Oh, well, go down to the, um... Well, you know, the... Go down yeah. to the city and all that. Only specific ones can go down. Mm, pretty I mean, much. The, basically, the only ones that can go there is uh, the merchants. That is it. Anything else, it's treated as an enemy. It's like, ah, oh, we don't, we don't deserve your kind. We don't want your kind here. Yeah. I don't mind the day that, but you know, whatever. Yeah, rules are rules. They're stubborn. Mm-hmm. Now they better try to make it harder for you. Well, on day three, it does everything. Up, down, smooth to the side. Yeah. Oh well, another 50 rubies. You know, Ganondorf in Wind Worker is pretty epic. Yeah, I just like the way how they just capitalize they gave him letters. a skirt. Yeah. I just like the way they capitalize his letters when he said, Your God betrayed you! But, um, dude, we're under the ocean. That's the mic check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how? <laughs> how have the gods abandoned us? We're under the goddamn ocean. There's, 
The water's gonna come in anytime. Any time to kill us. <laughs> They're like, what, oh, we're supposed to drown? <laughs> oh yeah, just don't worry, Link can hold his breath for about an hour. Yeah, but did you notice that eye roll was basically some kind of protective bubble? Yeah, of, uh, because of Ganondorf. That just mean that it wasn't getting washed up right away. Yeah, but the whole the whole place was basically basically everywhere the time stopped. Nothing was going on. Just nothing. Yeah, until you pulled out the that master sword. That's what's left over from Ganon's takeover. Until you pulled out the master sword. Yeah. <laughs> and then the king's yeah, like, oh, time, you oh, Link! Seems like every time you get the master sword, Ganon always has some sort of uh backup revenge plan like he did in Ocarina when he pulled it out and he and that's took because over. he he knew who you were because he just Ganon figured it out he put pieces pieces together yeah that guy in an Ocarina he's just badass he just knew what to do yeah he just had to wait for you to open the door of time and it's just like oh look at that link you destroyed the world great and then he saves it again and kicks Ganon's ass. You know, if I would have met Link after he saved Hyrule and all that, I'd be like, Hey! Hey! You can fix this! You can fix it! This broken building, you can fix it! Ugh. Hey, you let this place on fire. Put it out. <laughs> oh, I can imagine how much uh, crap uh, Link would have to put up with. Oh, well. You know, after well, I can only well, imagine. <laughs> Look at all the crap he has to go through here. No, I'm just talking about all the finances problems and all that. <laughs> yeah. And all the stuff he breaks and all the temples he raids. Yes, that's true. I want to uh. reach that. <laughs> you can barely just get there. Oh, I can't reach that treasure chest up there. You can, barely, you can only barely get up there, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like the, this place here is, is uh, um, where that little boy is. Yeah, uh, yeah, and there's uh, her. Hey, isn't she the, the one in the hotel? She's the one, yeah. She's also part of that quest. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Is basically we're just learning about stuff. Yeah, we're learning what's happening here and whatnot. I'm just gonna grab this right now. You know, it's quite weird. Link was just riding on um, a porno. And, yep. and he stumbles across this little area. You know? Yeah. I mean, is he still in Hyrule? Or is he... I don't point. know how far he went. I don't yeah, they don't really say how far he went or where did they he go. It's no, that, they did. It's just that, oh, you're, oh yeah, you just, you just here. You're just in this place. Do you think game trailers did a good idea trying to pin pinpoint all the uh, stories together? <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh, and this is not a true sequel, and all that. Yeah, you, you better look at it. You better, uh, you better just guess on your own will. Everybody does that. No one tries to put these two together. Like, oh, this takes place before this. This takes place after this. This, this I is mean, just a dream. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo knows the story. They, they do, but they just don't want to spoil it. They just don't want to tell us. Yeah. Leave have us they guess. confirmed about Skyward Sword though? There's no word about it yet. Oh, well, some people are saying it takes place before Ocarina. But yes, it does, it does. It explains the Master Sword, I guess. The birth of it. Yeah. Even though Link basically holds it in A3 trailers. Hey look, I'm holding the Master Sword! <laughs> okay! Yeah. Hey Nintendo, you might want to fix that plot hole. 
Yeah, uh, they're spoiling pretty much most things. I mean, the only thing we we know is that picture they released. There's something to do with that girl. There's just something to do. That's on his. Uh, that's on his back. Yeah. That was the only thing we ever got before. No, they're not really doing anything anymore. It's just that they just showed us a couple of things, and that's it. They just showed us what we wanted to see at E3. Heck, they've been over the top for, for um, nostalgic. <sighs> they brought back pretty much everything. Like I said, though, Kirby's epic yawn. My God, the graphics! You know when that comes out for you? Well, it's already out. It does? I thought... No, oh, I didn't know that. Well, it's already out for you. It should be already out well, for I meant for you, though. It should be out for me right now. I don't know if I've read this right, but not till February. Eh, <laughs> whatever. I don't mind waiting for that game. I don't... I don't understand the whole gameplay of Kirby. Well, basically, you just take over people's powers. Well, that was in old games. Yeah, just mention Kirby in general, the whole gameplay. Oh, basically, it's a 2D platformer. And you just yeah. going around stopping evildoers. Uh -huh. Well, even though Kirby's still a baby. <clears throat> well, anyway. <laughs> because how the storyline that goes in Kirby, well, Kirby wasn't meant to be awakened for a couple of years just so he could talk and all that and whatnot. But yeah. he got awakened a bit too a bit too early. That's how that storyline goes. Was uh, Meta Knight? He can actually talk and all that. And that's his brother. Yes, that's his brother. He was born in the correct time, so he could speak properly. <laughs> well, the whole gameplay aspect is just. Really, you just suck up someone, you take their power, and then use that power against them. That's it. Hmm. But in Epic Yawn, they actually explain why Kirby can't use his sucking ability. It's because he's yawned. Yeah, when he's yawned, he doesn't have a, you know, like a physically body. He's just made out of yawn. Uh -huh. He can just transform. Yeah, he just, then he learns how to transform, which is a bit, yeah, a bit forced, if you would ask me, because uh, when I looked at it, it's just like, it's forced to transform, but whatever. But after that, uh, Kirby knows how to uh, get this yawn out of nowhere and just fling it at enemies and then hold the enemy above him and throw it. And I yeah. do believe Epic Yawn is the only game... You cannot die in. Hey, I think I've read something about that. Like, it's some sort of interesting way they have it created. Well, you know, like how, uh, basically the mechanics kind of like, you know, like, Sonic the Hedgehog and all that. You collect rings and you get one hit, you know? Lose all your rings. If you oh, basically, it's like hit. that, but you don't die uh, after you get the zero. You just don't die. You just continue onwards. Wow. Yeah, so basically, you can't die. You can't even get a game over screen. That's good news for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see those words? <laughs> yeah, well, no, even the word, even they don't appear in this game. I don't know where you play a PL that much. They don't. Hmm. I looked them up. I was like. I think it makes sense because normally in a Zelda game, if you get a game over, don't they ask you to save? Uh, yeah. But here, they don't ask you to save since their saving is different. Yeah, because uh, this game, uh, it was basically a challenge to me and Mortal. Like, what sort of challenge, really? Uh, to make a different game. Because what, just based on time limits? Well, not really based around Zelda. I just mean based with a time limit, like yeah. the whole game uh, is on time. He got challenged, and so he did it, and, th and this game came out. Which I don't, I don't really mind it, I mean, it's an interesting game aspect, but 
Yeah.